How's it going? Good. I'd just like to start off by telling you a little bit about myself. My name is Dan, and I'm 22 years old, and I'm single, and I'm unemployed, and I still live at home with my parents. And yes, for those of you wondering, I'm well aware that this is not the kind of lifestyle that gets a person late. You don't have to tell me, I have seen my beard in a mirror. I think one of the many reasons why I'm single is because I'm too honest with girls. Like this one time I was in a club, having a horrible time because it's a club. When I noticed this girl that I knew, she was approaching me from a distance. Now I should mention to you guys that this girl has a little bit of a reputation of being easy, or she's a slut. And she came up to me and she said, if I didn't have a boyfriend, I would so totally fuck you tonight. Yeah, she's pretty, pretty straightforward with it. What my dick said was, mm-mm, showtime, baby. But unfortunately, what I said was, yeah, I know, I've heard a lot about you. <laughs> I guess I just wasn't thinking on that one. Isn't that what everybody says when they do something they regret? I just wasn't thinking. But that doesn't make sense to me. I think the problem is that we have two different, very different kind of thought processes that we have. On one side, we have the drunken, we have the drunken thinking, which is it's this Superman-like power that goes over us and it makes us believe that we could say and do whatever the fuck we want to do. On the other side, we have the sober thinking, which is the realization that we probably did something fucked up and we're gonna regret it. Let me give you a couple of examples. Drunken thought. Oh man, I could totally kick that guy's fucking ass. Sober thought. Hey, did you guys see my two front teeth? <laughs> Drunken thought. Hmm, this, this girl looks pretty wholesome and uh, I'd like to court her and take her home. Court. Sober thought. Man, why does it feel like my dick just went through a shredder? <laughs> Drunken thought. Yo, boys, let's go out and fucking destroy some fucking mailboxes. Sober thought. No, Mom, I have no idea where our mailbox went. <laughs> like I mentioned before, I still live at home with my parents. I should also mention that I used to smoke weed. Used to, I just say that, but I still do. But for the joke purpose, the most difficult thing about living at home with your parents and smoking weed is the amount of sneaking around that you gotta do. You gotta be all stealth-like, you gotta cover your tracks, cut all loose ends, and if you get asked a question, you better have the right answer or you're fucked. Like recently, I waited till my parents to go to sleep. I snuck out back to smoke a joint. The next day, my dad came up to me and he said, Hey, Dan, uh, what were your footprints doing out back in the snow? Oh, oh fuck, I, I forgot that it snowed last night. The tracks are everywhere. I come up with an excuse fast, fast, fast. Oh, well, uh, I saw that the cat was going to jump into the pool and I ran outside to save his life. <laughs> I thought I dodged the bullet there, so I started to walk away. But my dad stopped me and he said, oh, okay. How do you explain the fucking snow angels out back then? <laughs> oh, oh fuck, I got high and started, started making snow angels? What excuse can I come up with for this? Um, well, you see, the thing is, uh, well, uh, well, the snowfall, it, it inspired me and it reminded me of childhood. And what says childhood? Like innocence. And nothing says innocence like making fucking snow angels. So, I just... I dodged that bullet. I'd like to end on this thought. Everyone in my family are fucking geniuses. My mom, my dad, and my sister Jill, they're all fucking geniuses. As for me, I flunked out of business school, and I spend most of my time touching myself and watching TV. Hey, man. <laughs> I'm not alone. Uh, yeah, so... It just makes me wonder what my parents tell their friends about their kids, like, uh, oh, how are Jill and Dan doing? Uh, oh, well, Jill, she graduated at the top of her class with honors, she got straight A's, and now she's a journalist. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. What about Dan? Uh, oh, well, 
Oh, that's a tough one. Never, never thought of that one. Jeez. Uh, you got anything? No, I, I don't have anything. Uh, oh well. Uh, well, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, Dan, uh, he's missing his two front teeth. His his dick looks like a paper fan, and he may or may not be responsible for our missing mailbox. Thank you, everyone. That's my time.